What's up guys, it's Bones, and it's time to go on another amazing adventure. This time, to Whitefish, Montana. I hope everybody's doing great. Headed on a train ride to head out to Whitefish, Montana to go snowboarding with a bunch of friends of mine. This is kind of my last real trip I have for my snowboarding season. I might do, you know, once, maybe twice more when I get back, but that's just here at my local hill. This is like the last real big trip of the season, which is kind of sad, but usually when I get back, the weather starts getting a little nicer and I look forward to like spring, even though snowboarding is like one of my favorite things. This trip is pretty unique. Uh, it's because we get to head out on a train versus my last Last trip to like Big Sky, you know, we drive in a car jam packed with a bunch of people in all our gear. The train's a long train ride, okay? It's about 17 to 18 hours if there's no delays. We've been pretty fortunate enough for the last few years to not have any delays on the train, so fingers crossed there, but we'll see what happens. If you never rode a train before, it's a lot more lax than like, let's say, an airline where you're like jam packed, this little seat, and you can't really move or do anything. Like, once you get on the train, you get like these bigger chairs, and they're comfortable to sleep on for the most part, you know, for like a few hours here and there. I mean, it's not like a full-fledged recliner or anything like that, but better than an airplane. Uh, you can get up, you can walk around, they have an observatory cart where like it's all glass and you can look out on the sides and sit around with your buddies and do your thing. You can also drink on the train, they have a dining cart. Every seat has a 120 volt outlet so you can charge and watch movies and do the things you need to do with your electronic devices. You can move around the train, they give you like this little ticket and you just move it from spot to spot. As long as you move that ticket, you can sit anywhere you want, which is pretty nice. They do have sleeper cars, which we've never gotten ourselves. You know, they're a little more pricey, but I guess if you're in there for the long-term haul, might not be a bad option. Anyway, if you haven't rode a train, it's a pretty cool experience. I recommend go do it. It's a lot of fun. But once we get to Whitefish, we hop on a shuttle, and the shuttle it takes us from the Whitefish town up to the mountain. The place we're staying at is called Lodgepole Lower, and it's walking distance from the lift. I've stayed there a time before, and it worked pretty well for the group that we had going. So this year, it should accommodate us quite nicely. What's great about Whitefish is it takes quite an effort to get there so it's generally not overpopulated on the resort once you're there and the lifts that we tend to hit there's so much deep snow and powder out there through the trees it's just a lot of fun I'm really excited to take you guys out there I hope you guys will really enjoy this I know for me I look forward to this trip every year this will be the fourth year in a row I've done it I did it one year about 12 years ago it was my second real like big mountain trip I ever took and that year what 12 years ago we did uh, seven guys in a Dodge Durant pulling a trailer and it was uncomfortable to say the least now that we've kind of done this trip a bunch of times we've really got it kind of dialed down to what works best and accommodates our group the best and hopping on the train versus hopping in a car it's about the same amount of distance and uh, and time invested but the trains is a lot more comfortable because you can get up and walk around and do your thing but enough talk about this what do you say we get on this train and make our way to Whitefish Montana let's do this just got to the train station, got our bags checked in. Mike has got a set of roses. <laughs> you bring roses to the train station, that's what you do. Nothing more romantic than a train ride. I will definitely agree with that. Nice little rose buds. Fill the hands off these. Everybody's got their chuff checked in. Train's just showing up right now. Time to start this. Get there. Nine. Oh, no, it's like seven. 
video was. <laughs> that tripod is just. Would you like Hulu? I have Hulu. We have Hulu. I have Hulu right now. Yeah, we're paying for Hulu, and it's still like my brother and I have Netflix. Yeah. And he's doing the opposite. Oh, I have Amazon too. But I, well, I have Amazon because I have Amazon. I'm open minded, but I'm not open behind it. What one? Dude, I am so sick of bananas. Just put the tip in. Just the tip. Okay. Just the tip. Okay. 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 Just a little guy, just a little guy. Crazy. Hey Jay. What up, Bones? What'd you do? I flashed all the toilets for everyone. That's the second door to the right. Oh, that's that's right. right. Your phone on to Whitefish. We are about five and a half hours beyond schedule. We're live, feeling good. It was Sarah's first time on the train. That was epic. Not even mad, it was late. Now we just get to play the game of uh, finding Ubers and uh, our way up to the hill. Then what's first? Shots. Immediately. I like this girl. She knows how to party. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> we got all the gear in one vehicle. We're gonna have all the people in another. We're doing this. We made it to the hill. We're getting checked in now. This is a little uh, convenience store they have on the hill. Our Uber driver was super nice. He picked us up at 2.30 a.m. even though we were five and a half hours late. Uh, yeah.
Good morning. It's the first day. This time through, Micah and I don't have to uh, try to struggle to braid each other's own hair. We have girls on the trip who know how to do this thing. It's gonna make our lives a lot easier. Thanks, Bristol. You're welcome. Well, unless you, what if you lose it? Like, oh, what if you lose it? First day here in Whitefish, they got over a foot of snow since we got here. Granted, we got here at uh, 5 a.m. this morning, and uh, I'm super tired, and we got like two hours of sleep, but we got all the boards waxed. How can I be upset looking out here and seeing what this is? It's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be fun. You guys ready? Let's do this. So we play this game called Slap the Bag. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but you basically buy a box bag of wine, you know, you throw away the cardboard box and then you just carry around the bag and you drink from the bag. So you slap the bag first, then you drink as much wine out of the nozzle as you can. And the game just constantly just gets escalated from one thing to another, like different variations and stuff. And we got this wild idea this place we're staying at, it's got multiple floors and it's pretty tall and it's got a balcony that overlooks onto the main living room uh, floor, like a loft type thing. So why not, you know, get somebody up top and somebody on the bottom and pour the wine into their mouth. I think it's going to go extremely well. Let's take a look. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yes. Solid. Fucking solid. My fucking eyes are blind right now. <laughs> Would you like to purchase the bottle? Yes, the bag. Oh. <laughs> it's a couple bags. It's a great oh. choice. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, that's a cherry treasure champs. I just want to like
733, if you can read that. That means it's time to start drinking. Das bag of wine. Pink Moscato. Let's wake everybody up. Good morning. What time is it? Time to have a little slappy. I missed. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's doing, huh? Patrick. Pat Bateman, uh, you might have seen his movies, uh, American Psycho. Uh, his real name's Christian Bale, but uh, this is what's going down this morning. Pat, put this on your lips. Holy shit. Put this on your lips. Wow. Slap it first. Mm. Mm. Oh. Uh. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning. Oh, it's like dripping. Oh. I know you're getting a workout now. Oh. Brett and I bring, I bring eight oh liters <laughs> of ice wool on a trip, plus all the other booze that we bring, what, that we buy. Brissy brings this. Yeah, dude. It's gore shot. Straight through to the wood. You know what, though? She's still fully functional. Still shredded up out there. Just a steady diet of uh, jello shots and uh, peppermint schnapps out here in the mountain. It's really the breakfast of champions, so bottoms up. Oh. Yeah. And you know what? We were getting it over there, we were getting it down there, we're getting it right here, and pretty soon we're gonna be getting it over there. Hey Chad, what surf's, are you doing, bro? Surf's up, bros! <laughs> surf's up! <laughs> Chad, you're crazy! Chad! Yeah. Those guys are just hammered. I was doing something else. Yeah, I've had a couple of Chardonnays, what of it? <laughs> a couple, couple what? A couple bottles? It's a pretty epic view. You got Flathead Lake down there. 
Whitefish, Montana. You know, these trips are so special. They're full of great friends, great memories, and just times that you forget about your everyday life. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When you're doing something slow in the air, like a 180 front side, that's too much time to think about things. I need to be doing a lot of things there. I got ADHD, baby. I have a lot of things to do in the air. So you got plenty of time to think about things. Plus, I like to read my stickers while I'm in the air. Hey, what's going on? Squirt. Put that on your lips if you know what's good for you. Oh, yeah, so what? A guy's had a couple of Chardonnays. What of it? I do. I fuck her. I do fuck up. Cheers. Do you see what I see? A tree, a tree, helpless as can be. Gonna get macheted by me. Bones is gonna be so disappointed if I just face my head. I didn't see you there. I'm fucking stuck really bad right now. Well, go on without me, guys. I'll be fine. <laughs> great time with these friends. You know, I don't get to see them as much as I'd like to, but it's always a great time. Great memories. So appreciative of everything I got to do here. This life out here, it's just, it's so cool because you forget about everything that you have going on back at home and you just focus on the moments here and the good times that you have with your friends, you know, and you hope that every single year you can come back and do this.
Wow, so we got a few delays on the train on the way there and on the way back. I feel like we've been pretty blessed for the years that we went and done this, so maybe it's it's just our karma that we've had such good experiences that we had to have some delays. So we ended up spending about 24 hours on the way there and the way back on the train, and that made it out to be a pretty long train ride. That's life, uh, it could have been worse. I've known people that got stuck on the train for like multiple days, not condoning the train because it still is an amazing mode of transportation if you're with a group of friends going someplace. Place. Anyway, it was a great trip, a lot of fun, kind of bittersweet because you don't want it to end. You just look forward to the next adventure that you go on. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. All flasks are empty. But what's this? Oh! Oh! What the fuck? I thought he was going to blow off. All the fuck. You sneaky little fuck. Oh. Holding out on this bad boy for four hours in my pocket. That's sneaky, son of a bitch. <laughs>